What's going on, everyone? Happy Thursday. That's right. The weekend is almost here. Hope you guys are excited. I'm excited. And um, I'm here to report I actually watched a few minutes of the World Series. Yeah, but not game two, game one. <laughs> All I saw was Sol uh, Soler's uh, first at-bat home run, which apparently hasn't happened in a long time. It makes me think of the 2017 World Series Game 1 when Chris Taylor smacked a home run in his first at-bat. The difference is the Dodgers were a home team, so it wasn't technically the first at-bat of the game. It was just the first at-bat for the Dodgers, where this particular uh, feat by Soler was in the first actual inning of the World Series, the first top of the first, the actual first at-bat. You know, first pitch of the World Series, they always save the ball. That at bat. So that is phenomenal, man. It doesn't happen too often. I think only a couple other times that's happened. So tip the cap to Soler. That was a great start. The Braves ended up taking game one. I did not watch it, like I said. But uh, game two, I didn't see anything clip-wise. So that's all I've seen so far. And it seems like it's been a fun World Series. I think both teams have split a game as they head back to Atlanta for three. And um, unfortunately, Lumpy's prediction of the Braves sweeping the Astros did not come to fruition. <laughs> it was a little optimistic on his part. But nonetheless, uh, he, was, uh, he was adamant that they were going to get swept. Well, that did not happen. Uh, Houston apparently came back and had a very good second game. So series is split as Ozzy Elbies tries to turn on that pitch. And is that going to be at the wall or off the wall? It's going to be at the wall. And that's going to be two outs. My runner has to go all the way back to first. All right. So what's going to happen in game three is the question. Um, leave me a comment. Who's going to be the starters for both of those games? I'm not even sure. Um, but if it's at, if it's, it's in Atlanta this Friday, I believe is the game. Um, I'm not even sure because Atlanta won the first game and lost the second game. So I actually don't know who's going to win game three. Uh, if I was to take a guess, I would say probably Atlanta because they're at home. Um, they should be the favorite. Of course, I'm not going to say, I'm not sure who's pitching. So <clears throat> I really don't have any idea. How that guy managed to square up that ball outside the zone, I don't know. He just squared up another one. This one is going to be gone, too. He just squared up two pitches. I threw two pitches, and he squared up both of them and hit home runs. Wow. Okay. So this is going to be a long game. <laughs> I'm down by two already. Did he swing? Oh, come on. He swung at that. He swung at the last one. Why wouldn't he swing at that one? Okay. 1-0 -oh count. Let's see if we can actually get an out. No, that's gone too. <laughs> we might get mercy ruled. We're playing someone that uh, every swing he has taken so far has been a home run. Wow. Okay. Well, that's going to make this a very long, interesting game. Um, I might not get to bat again. <laughs> My pitcher's already tired. He's like, dude, I'm done. He's only thrown three pitches, so how can he be tired? I never understood that. Just because they gave up four runs uh, off of, you know, three runs off of three massive hits <clears throat> doesn't mean you're tired. It just means probably mentally you're drained because you just gave up, you know, three straight home runs. That is uh, four straight hits, no outs. And uh, my team, uh, whoever I'm playing, man, they came to play, man. Rum Daddy 94 is uh blasting the ball charlie morton i'm not even gonna warm up anybody that's probably my biggest biggest thing is when i'm getting my butt kicked i leave the pitcher in there to suffer so here we go one and one count is a double play possible that's a foul ball we're only down by three so plus this is diamond dynasty i mean jesus anything can happen i don't even need to throw strikes there could be called strikes i don't even need to hit home runs we could still score runs somehow that is how this game works. The game could freeze, right? And then I get the win. 2-2 <laughs> two, two count. There's a double play, even though we threw it to second. Oh, we didn't get the out at first. Somehow I didn't tag him. Okay. Maybe if I had went to first, it might have, uh, instead of throwing it to first, we might have had something happen. But nope, instead, here we go. Still only one out. <laughs> Losing 3 nothing. We're going to go with a cutter on the outside part of the plate. Hey, we 
caught that line drive and still went to second. It's just intuition for me to go to second. Okay, Jordan Alvarez. Uh, I don't know what he did yesterday, but, uh, man, he's been killing the ball. There's another one. That one's going to hook foul, though. A lot of empty seats here in Boston. Go figure. I mean, they are out of the World Series, so <laughs> that would make sense that there's empty seats. All right, we're going with an 0-2 pitch, trying to get out of the inning. And, nope, that's a base hit up the middle. Somehow, that pitch was thrown way outside the zone, and he still got a piece of it. And he's still up to bat. Okay. Somehow, yep. Wow. How does he get the PCI that low? I'm never able to do that. That ball's lifted, and that's going to be a foul ball. Uh, yeah, I never get the PCI low, and if I do, it's never caught up to the pitch, man. That is just uh, like that. Like, how do you hit that ball? It's so low. Ooh, bases loaded. He should have went. My right fielder miffed that. All right, we're still in the first, man. We're still trying to get out. And we're once, like, my opponent's like one swing away from uh, hitting a grand slam and just like, you know, totally ending this game. Not even sure why would you even bring in a pinch hitter in this moment. Uh, leave your pitcher in. <clears throat> I should probably warm up somebody. <laughs> Ooh, Vida Blue is in there. Let's get him up. And uh, Adam Wainwright. We'll get those two guys going. All right. Here we go. Big at bat. My opponent is still not done pausing. I'm not sure what's taking him so long. This has already been a very long first inning. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Uh-oh, I did not mean to throw that. That's a strike, though. I'll take it. 0-1 oh, no. <laughs> is the count. We'll go with an insanely high fastball. He did not swing at that. I'm not shocked. <laughs> Outside corner. He launched one earlier. Ooh, we just missed. All right, 2-1 and one count. We're going to try a little inside curveball. That is, dang it, ripped. And that is going to be one run, possibly two possibly three he's gonna hold him and he's gonna be safe at second with a double okay <laughs> well my pitcher's done man he didn't even last an inning <clears throat> and um yeah i mean this guy just kills everybody so we're just gonna bring in a lefty we'll bring in vita blue i remember vita blue was hard for me to hit not sure if that's the same here here we go two runners on there's a foul ball he was a little early on that that's okay all right Inside high fastball, Vada Blue trying to get us out of this inning. There's a little dumper. Should be playable. Okay, let's go. Well, the good news is I'm only losing 5 nothing. So, yeah. Top of the second, there's a foul ball. How come my ball's not squared up and smashed? Like, that's way off the plate. I don't know. Maybe this guy's got some voodoo magic. And then, like, look at my PCI didn't even get all the way down. <laughs> Oh, a Duke out here we go. That see, like that kiss would have been a base hit. How come mine's not a base hit? Man, I'm early. Okay, whatever. Oh, and to be a smarty. There is another foul ball. At least we're battling, right? I mean, we're not squaring up the ball, but we're tipping it. <laughs> we're getting foul tips. There's a strikeout. Okay, one out. Kyle Tucker, I think, is the only Astro on my team. By the way, we're playing this new ep events. This is a World Series, apparently. So, although there's other World Series uh, players, uh, Tucker being the only Astro. And uh, that's going to be lifted into center. Definitely playable. And that's going to be caught. Man, we, I feel like we're going to go two games in a row where I don't score a run. And um, that's probably the case because I think the only people playing MLB The Show right now are hardcore players. I think a majority of the general crowd has just disappeared. They've left for this game for some reason. So only hardcores, and I'm probably only going to play against amazing opponents who obviously, you know, this guy took me deep three pitches in a row. So, yeah, he's pretty good. 0-1, that's popped up, and that's going to be a quick 1-2-3 inning for my opponent, man. <clears throat> and that's going to be caught. Bottom two, let's see how many home runs my opponent's going to hit this inning. There's a foul ball to start. Looks like Kike Hernandez is at the dish. And let's see what we could do. Oh, and one count. We're only down by five. I mean, that's the good news. It's only five. Anything, anything could happen with five. But we got to throw strikes. One and one count. That looks like a great pitch. That's going to be foul. And, yep, we got him 0-2. Oh let's see what's going to happen. Is he going to catch up to this curveball? Probably, because he's got voodoo magic. But we got to throw it over the plate first. All right. Again, my pitcher's tired. Well, they're all tired, man. They don't have energy for whatever reason. Kike pops that one up. It's going to be playable and caught in center field for the first out. Let's go. We'll take that. 
Yeah, but like the pitchers in a three inning game, they're like energy's already spent. So it's like they throw two pitches, they get tired. Especially if they get hit on. <laughs> they get hit on, it's three pitches, and then they're like, I want to go home. There's a very good pitch, but no cigar. Eddie Rosario, who is having the most amazing postseason so far, launches that one to center field, but it looks like it's going to be caught. Little ballerina jump there for the second out. We'll take it. One, two outs so far, so that's the good news. If we can get one more out, we'll have three more chances to try to maybe get a hit or score a run because my opponent is pitching very well. Chipper Jones launches to right, and there's a one, two, three inning. Let's go. Team Rally Fry. Top of the third. Let's go. We're only down by five million. That's a strike. He threw it right down the pipe, too. And uh, I moved the PCI out of the way. That's why I keep losing, because I move the PCI out of the way. There is a ground ball. Playable. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And there is a one out. That guy had no speed. And even, to be honest, he I mean, hit it right to him, so it wasn't going to happen. All right. Let's bring in, ooh, I wanted to bring in Victorino, but he's got no pop. Um, let's bring in a Braves player. Let's bring in Dansby Swanson. Isn't he the one that walked it off as a Dodger on Vince Scully's last broadcast? I think that's what happened. I think this is the guy. He'll forever be in the hearts of the Dodgers. One out, here we go. And there's a rip, and hey, let's go. There's a base hit, a perfect line drive. <clears throat> barely off the left fielder, and we got a base runner. Okay. So if we could score a run, that would just be phenomenal. Here's Hammer and Hank. Big chance, and he got a piece of that slider way off. The Why did this guy just throw strikes? Like, seriously, this game is over. Just throw strikes. You know, give me something to hit. Let's make this fun instead of just throwing cheese. And there's a ball. This guy's just throwing balls, man. That's the, that's the sad thing of this state. Nobody likes to throw strikes and have fun. Let's just... Try to strike it out and make this a boring strikeout game. Three and one. There is a bit. There's a pitch. That's what I'm talking about, man. Just throw pitches like that. I ain't going to hit them. <laughs> Three and two. Hank goes the other way, but that's definitely going to be playable, and that's going to be the second out. We're down to our last chance here. It's going to be Lou Gehrig. Okay, well, Lou Gehrig can still smack one. Let's see if he does. Here's the pitch. That's a ball. Nah, I'm going to hold my runner at first. What for? There's no reason to send him. He, what for? You know, we need five runs here. All right, Lou Gehrig looking for an inside pitch. There is a low and away pitch. Okay. Big uh, big strike there. John Smoltz. Here we go. Looking in, in at the toes. There's the pitch I was sort of looking for. It got a little, little higher than I wanted to. That's going to be the game, guys. Happy Thursday. Um, yeah. Like I said in the comments, let me know what who's going to pitch. I don't know. Don't care who wins, to be honest. Hope it's the Braves, though. Binge watch, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next time. Peace.